Daniel Anthony, hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, how are you? I'm not too bad. Um, I, I'm even better today because, of course, it's St. David's Day today. So uh, I'm, I'm wearing my reds. Uh, I'm supporting Wales. Um, of course, you know, you're no stranger to Wales because a lot of the Sarah Jane Adventures was actually filmed in Wales. Yes, a lot of it was filmed uh, around Cardiff. I actually lived in Cardiff, well, on and off for like over the course of about five years. So um, it's very close to my heart. I love Wales and I love the Welsh. So Borida to all the Welsh people. Borida. <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, Cardiff is actually where I'm filming this from. Whereabouts do you live in Cardiff? Did you live oh, in Oh, buzzing. I was in uh, I was in Cardiff Bay. There was like a little uh, there's a little Tesco's there, and I used to have a little flat that overlooked the little Tesco's. So I remember it very very well. Perfect. And of course, the Sarah Jane Adventures must have kind of it, it took a big load of time uh, in your life. Um, it was yeah. a successful show. Um, do you yeah. remember the phone call uh, when it came in asking you to be involved in the Sarah Jane Adventures? Yeah, well, I um, I was 18 at the time, I think. That's such a long time ago. Man, that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, I was 18 at the time, and I just I got a call from my agent. Um, I think they just shot the pilot, um, and they wanted to add in um, another male character. So I got sent a little breakdown, read through that, and really liked the sound of, of Clyde. Um, at the time, I think we were quite similar. So, um, yeah, went in. I had my audition in London um and then I had a couple rounds after that and then I went to meet uh Tommy and Yasmin and we did a little read through and I got the part yeah I was really excited to to get going with it really really excited and this was peak Doctor Who time you know Doctor Who had just come back and the character of Sarah Jane had been reintroduced again um kind of were you aware of that Doctor Who universe before you you came on into the show um to be honest no not really like I, I mean I've seen it on, you know, when you're flicking through the channels and stuff. Um, but it's only when you sort of get a part in it, like I did, like in Sarah Jane, and go to these conventions and stuff, you sort of realise just how how much of an iconic character um, he, she is. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I was very honoured to be a part of it. And, honestly, it's a, it's a time in my life I'll, I'll never forget. Um, and when I watched it, when I was watching it when I was younger, I, um, you know, you got the sense that there was this real family unit between uh, both yourself, Yasmin, and Tommy, as well as Elizabeth Sladen. Was that is that true? Yeah, yeah and I, I, I really, well, a lot of people say that it did, but it came across on screen. You know, we really were a big family unit. The cast, the crew, the whole team there. Um, it sounds cheesy, but it really didn't feel like. I was going into work like it just felt like I was going to hang out with my mates for like eight hours a day and people were filming it so um yeah it's it, it was a very unique experience on that job um and, and I loved it yeah it was beautiful there so it must have been quite strange then because you you know in the first series you'd established this relationship uh with yourself uh Tommy and and Yasmin and then of course in series yeah. two Anjali came in and and that must have been sort of a new dynamic yeah, it, it was, but you know what, it was so lovely, and one thing I was really proud of on, on that set, and I think everyone was, was just how welcoming it was, so obviously on my first day I was very nervous, but and so was Anjali, but you know, after the first day I think she settled right in, and she was a very welcome addition, um, yeah, love her a lot, man, yeah, yeah. love her a lot. What's she doing now? Who knows? <laughs> no, I don't yeah. really know. I literally, yeah. I, actually bumped into her, I bumped into her a few months ago, I think. Um, uh, somewhere, I can't remember where. Um, and she she seems to be doing really well. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you're watching, Ange, hello again. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, of course, um, the character of Sarah Jane is beloved by so many. You know, there are generations of people who adore uh, both the character and Elizabeth Sladen. What was uh, Liz Sladen like to work with? Honestly, one of the most beautiful people. Um, like the, the biggest ray of sunshine on set. Like we used to call her our, our mother hen. You could go to her for anything. Um, and I, we say it all the time. Like I, I honestly don't think she she believe how much she was loved. Really, um, obviously, when everything happened, it was it was really sad. But you know, at least we were all united in the fact that we had so much love for her, and she was such an iconic person on screen and such a beautiful person off screen. So yeah. 
and of course, you know, sadly in 2011, uh, Liz passed away, um, yeah. and the series then uh, obviously then had to be uh, wrapped up. Did that kind of come as a shock to you? Were you aware that that was coming in terms of the, the cancellation of the show after her passing, or what was that process like? Well, I mean, I I assumed that um, that it would end, um, but to be honest, I, th I think it was the right thing to do. You know, obviously there were there were four of us, four four main um, four main guys, but that the show was Liz's, like it was about Liz, and I think to have to have carried it on without her would have been a bit bit of a disservice to her, to be honest. So, uh, although I think we were all really upset that. It, it was ending and it ended um I think it was it was the right decision to be honest yeah and then um in 2020 um finally uh, after all these years there was a conclusion to the Sarah Jane adventures with um yes online video uh, farewell Sarah Jane <laughs> um kind of, yeah. what was that like getting involved with that again um it was uh, when I got when I got the message from uh, from Russell from Russell T um it was just mad, but it's one of those things where I think when you play a character for so long, no matter how long you go without playing them, I, they'll always have a, a place in your heart, you know? So I think um, I was very eager to jump back in and obviously the reasons behind it. Um, wanted to do do something nice for Liz and, and tie everything off neatly. So I think, I think that was done really well. Obviously Russell wrote it, so it was going to be brilliant. Um, yeah, I just hope all the all the fans out there were sort of pleased with how it was all tied off. To be honest, there are legions of fans for this show. People adore this show, and Doctor Who yeah. and Torchwood. Um, what would you say to those fans who have continuously supported you on this journey? Oh God, I, I don't think there's enough time for me to thank them enough. But I just honestly say the biggest thank you um, for watching it for all those years um, and for still being a fan of it now. I still get messages now, um, little DMs on the old Instagram, people, you know, saying thanks for being a part of their child and stuff. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support of all of us. Um, and, you know, we did something great and we, we can hold our heads high and be proud of that. Mm -hmm. If Clyde Langer was ever invited back to the show, would you say yes? A hundred and ten million percent. <laughs> Start the percent. hashtag now, I say. <laughs> we'll do it. Hashtag Clyde back. I wouldn't do it without the gang. I couldn't do it without the gang. But yeah, hundred percent. I'd, I'd be up for that. Yeah. If Amazing. Um, well, Daniel, thank you so much for chatting to me. Uh, have a lovely no St. David's Day. Uh, thank thank you. you, and you. Thank you, mate. Take care.